Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Fluffy back with another video. Back with another video, guys. So today's video, I'll be eating some Jamaican food. <laughs> I'll be eating some Jamaican food for y'all. So delicious. Woo. Can't wait. I'm trying to get this light right. So I have some rice on peas, and I have some uh, um, brown stew chicken. Maybe I should have did fried chicken. How <laughs> how does this look on camera? Does it look appealing? Anyways, <laughs> it's brown stew chicken. It's good, delicious. And I have some salt fish flitters. I have some coleslaw. <laughs> I already ate out some of it. And I have some uh, tomato and avocado. And a bottle of water. For the sawfish right here, I'm going to do a video on how to make it just in case y'all don't know what sawfish is. Sawfish flitters. Mm. Taste just rice. Mm. Usually, this is a typical Jamaican Sunday dinner. Like one of the quick Sunday dinners, okay? If you don't feel like being in the kitchen too long, this is why you whip up. Brown stew chicken. If you guys want to know how I made this, I already have a video out on how to make brown stew chicken. So I'm going to leave that in the description down below. So y'all can check out that video on how to make some brown sweet chicken. Mm. 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 I'm trying to take my time <laughs> in. So right now it's about after 12, this is my first meal. They don't know. They don't know I was hungry. Mm. Mm. I love me some tomato with some salt on it. If you're trying to do a Jamaican mukbang, just go to the Jamaican store and just buy the food. I can just recreate it. <laughs> just watch one of my videos. I always forget to say, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. To my channel. Mm. That's if you haven't already done some. She's office with us here. I made these. Um, <laughs> I made these yesterday, but. I had him sit in the fridge so I could do this video. I said it looks so whimsical. <laughs> it's so whimsy. It's on my coleslaw. Ooh. Sorry about that. But, mmm. Mmm. This thing is so, so good. Mm. Mm. I love eating coleslaw with rice. Mm. So what I put in this coleslaw, I'll mix it up with my rice right here. 
So I can see and put this up a little more. So I just bought the um, coaster all packet at Walmart. It's already eating, like cut down free. It's already cut up. So I just added a little bit of salt, some sugar, and mayonnaise. Simple, simple, simple. Mm. 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 And I just let it rest in the fridge overnight. So everything could marinate, everything could blend in together. So I could taste the results. <laughs> mm. Right, guys, let's talk about when I went to Halloween Horror Nights. You know, when you hear Horror Nights and all that, you think you're going to be scared, you think you're going to be scary and all that mess. That thing was not scary. I mean, if you get scared easily, then maybe. Maybe it'll scare you. But I don't really get scared that easy. Unless you're really trying to kill me. <laughs> then maybe I have some adrenaline pumping. But I know I know it's fake, so they don't really catch me like that. They basically just uh, all the haunted house, they basically just pop out. Pop out of somewhere within the haunted house. So it's not after a while you realize, okay, this looks like a secret hiding spot. Someone might pop out there. So you automatically just start looking, waiting for someone to pop out. So once you know the routine, uh, that's it. That's it, don't get scared. It's not scary anymore. And then you have people, people that work there, going around with their chainsaw, trying to scare people. I'm like, you need, I'm, the, the chainsaw had like green and all types of bright colors on it. I'm like, if you're trying to scare me, you better come to a real chainsaw. You better come with a real chainsaw and actually try to, you know, chop me up, cook me up. But it was it was a good experience, just to say I went. Mm. But if you're going there, I would just say, do a one day pass. Don't go there two days. That's if. As if you don't get scared easily, that shit won't be that exciting. Okay, like, oh, I know it's fake. You're fake, that looks fake, everything looks fake. <laughs> but it amazes me how, like, people, they're actually running, terrified. Why are you running that light? It's not even real. <laughs> that shit is not real. So fake. Mm. Um, for 
the pastels. You know, you get VIP where you can, um, oh man, that's like how you're green. Mm -mm. Boom. It's, so, it's so tough, okay. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't want to buy me up. I'm not going to buy nothing. I'm going to eat this tomato. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, like I was saying, VIP. You know, pay a little extra. For that, is it worth it? See, we went during the week. We went on Wednesday, even though the line was still long. Like some of the lines were like 45 minutes wait, an hour wait. But it's not worth them getting VIP. Cause all you can do is just skip through the line, get up there, and realize this trash. <laughs> realize this, this like no, oh, this not worth no VIP money. I was just waiting a long line. Plus, it opens about five thirty till three o'clock in the morning. So you have plenty of time to stand in line and wait on whatever haunted house you're trying to get into. But if you feel like you're too thin for a regular line, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and get your VIP. Okay. Nobody's judging you. Just your money. We got more than fish out there. <laughs> Trying to get some of this gravy. Mm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. My guys, my lighting just fell. Just had to get that up. <laughs> Just this thing. <sighs> Yo, a nice cold glass of water. That should be good. If y'all don't know what brown <laughs> I know it looks burnt, it looks weird. But that's how it's supposed to be. If you don't want it too brown, you can cut back on the brownie that you use. the hotel like I was saying the view the view was amazing but the actual hotel itself was just all right but thing are right, we got all right the, the place where you register to get your ticket uh, your room number and your keys and all that those apartments that's attached to it, we thought we were gonna stay like there, like where the attachment is. But no, they're like, oh, go outside, go down, then turn right, and then turn left, and that's where you'll be staying. I'm like, what? We're not staying here. I thought we were gonna stay here on the attachment. <laughs> it's like they bought out uh, this uh, adjacent hotel that's next to it. They bought that out, so that's where they sent us. 
So it wasn't, it's like they were trying to renovate it, but they didn't really do a good job. So yeah. And it wasn't cheap, trust me, it was, it was not cheap. Yeah. But I guess because we're so close to the, res uh, the, uh, the, uni the, the parks and the theme parks and stuff. That's probably why the price. That's why the price is a little high. It's so gloomy outside, I swear. That rain is just waiting, waiting to pour down. Mm. Mm. I remember a long time ago when I was in what? High school? Yeah, high school. And I was over like a family friend's house. I was eating my rice with a spoon. And they're like only, only fat greedy people eat with, eat with uh, spoon, eat rice and spoon. I was like, what? I thought this, all my life I've grown, all this time when I've been growing up, that's all people ate with spoon. They eat your rice. With your spoon. I eat. Damn, this thing's so messy. I eat your dumpling with your fork. Like I didn't know any better. I, that's that's how I grew up with it. That's how I grew up with it. You eat fork with your dumpling and the spoon with your rice. So now they tell me, no, 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 that's some fat people stuff. I'm like, damn, I am fat, but damn, I didn't know that. So now, years later, I would afford. Mm. So the first one, like, how do you even? How are you supposed to even eat rice with a fork? Like, who does that? How are you gonna? Get everything on the fork, like it's just gonna fall off. But no, it stays on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So fork for everything. On time I use spoon. You want me in cereal or soup? That's the only time and ice cream. Ice cream in a bowl. Ooh. Mm. 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 Yo. Think good enough? Me and I like. Yeah, I don't know say. The girl can cook, 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 cook. Think my end is right here. If you enjoy this Jamaican mukbang, give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. You guys, are, you guys already know to share, 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 share. Share my videos, guys. Okay. Tell your friends and family. Come check me out. Subscribe to my channel. Okay.
Let's get this channel popping. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Snapchat. I don't know what say. It will be down in the description down below. Down below. Alright guys, I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye!